Stern is the name of two different but related arcade gaming companies. Stern Electronics, Inc. manufactured arcade video games and pinball machines from 1977 to 1985, and was known for 1980s Berserk. Stern Pinball, Inc., founded in 1999, is a creator of pinball machines in North America. <laughs> Stern Electronics, Inc. Stern Electronics was formed when the Stern family bought the financially troubled Chicago Coin in 1977. Chicago Coin's assets were purchased at bankruptcy sales forming the core inventory of Stern Electronics, Inc., however, as a separate company, they did not assume any of the debt Chicago Coin had amassed. The first two games made by Stern were Stampede and Rawhide, both originally made by Chicago Coin, which only had changes made to their branding and logos. After a weak start, Stern Electronics sales started picking up by the end of 1977. By 1978, they had switched over to fully solid-state electronics for their games. In 1979, Stern acquired the jukebox production assets of the bankrupt Seberg Corporation, and the company became known as Stern – Seberg. Coincidentally, Seberg also owned Williams in the 1960s, when Sam Stern was its president. What coincidence? Please define the referenced coincidence concerning the undefined Williams, which was only mentioned for the first time here without any connection to Seberg or Chicago Coin. When arcade video games became popular in 1980, Stern Electronics produced Berserk. In 1983, Stern became one of many victims of the amusement industry economic shakeout that occurred. In 1985, Stern Electronics left the amusement industry. Personnel from Stern Electronics formed a short-lived venture known as Pinstar, producing conversion kits for old Bally and Stern machines. Gary Stern was the president of Stern Electronics, Inc., Pinstar Inc., and Data East Pinball. <laughs> Stern Pinball, Inc. By 1999, the pinball industry was virtually dead and Williams stopped manufacturing pinball machines and focused on gambling devices as WMS Gaming. During the same year, Sega left the pinball industry and sold its pinball division, previously purchased from Data East in 1994, to Gary Stern, the son of Sam Stern. Gary Stern, who had been running Data East, Sega Pinball since 1986, founded Stern Pinball, Inc. that same year. Stern Pinball, Inc. is based in Elk Grove Village, Illinois. As of late 2018, Steve Ritchie, Brian Eddy, Keith Elwin, and George Gomez are designing pinball games at Stern Pinball, alongside longtime Data East, Sega Pinball designer John Borg. Some Stern Pinball tables were also digitally released through the Pinball Arcade and Stern Pinball Arcade. Stern Pinball donates to and is a sponsor of Project Pinball Charity. Notable pinball machines Stern Electronics Stern Pinball Arcade games manufactured by Stern Astro Invader 1980, programmed by Konami Berserk 1980. The End 1980, programmed by Konami Scramble 1981, programmed by Konami Super Cobra 1981, programmed by Konami Moon War 1981. Turtles 1981 programmed by Konami Strategy X 1981 programmed by Konami Jungler 1981 programmed by Konami Armored Car 1981 Amidar 1981 programmed by Konami Frenzy 1982 Tasmania 1982 Tutankham 1982 programmed by Konami Puyan 1982 programmed by Konami Dark Planet 1982 designed by Eric Erickson and Dan Langlois Rescue 1982 
Calypso 1982 developed by Stern released by Tago Electronics Anteater 1982 developed by Stern released by Tago Electronics Mazer Blazer 1982 Lost Tomb 1982 Bagman Le Bagnard 1982 programmed by Valadone Automation Pop Flamer 1982 programmed by Jaleco Star Jacker 1983 programmed by Sega Minefield 1983 Cliffhanger 1983 Laserdisc game using video footage from TMS Great Guns 1984 Goal to Go 1984 Laserdisc game Super Bagman 1984 programmed by Valadone Automation <laughs>